A very good evening to all of you and welcome to Baiju's exam prep, the most comprehensive preparation app for all exams. As you all are aware, so from uh, Sunday and Tuesday, two days in a week at 9 p.m. we are running 500 most expected CMAT GK questions and this is the part two. So right now we are covering the important current affairs then for uh, uh, then uh, later on we'll be covering the static portion also. Okay. So uh, let's uh, start with the first question of the day. So these are mostly current affairs from March onwards and all. Uh, so uh, the question number one says, please answer it in the live chat if you know the answer. Otherwise, I'll be explaining. What is the theme of 8th edition of Raisina Dialogue that was organized from 2 to 4th March recently? So hardly one month back, it was in the news. And I hope you are aware in CMAT, they ask the latest questions from February, March, January also. Right. So what was the theme? Uh, the Raisina Dialogue is actually organized by Observer Research, Observer Research Foundation and Ministry of External Affairs. Okay. Every year that is annually. So this is a dialogue where actually the foreign policy, foreign diplomats, foreign uh, countries, ministers and all are being invited uh, to discuss you know, diplomacy and all. So uh, what was the theme this year? And these are your options. Can you tell me? Yes, uh, rethinking democracy, end of multilateralism, achieving green transition, provocation, uncertainty, turbulence, light, house in the tempest. What is the right answer? So here the right answer to this question is option D is the right answer to this question. Provocation, certainty, uh, uncertainty, turbulence, lighthouse in the tempest. Yes, you can see this is from the official website. website right? And now, you can this is Observer Research Foundation and Ministry of External Affairs. Both are actually doing it. And every year, the leaders in politics and business, media and civil society converge in New Delhi. So every year, this happens. This uh, Raisina Dialogue happens, organized by Observer Research Foundation and Ministry of External Affairs. Okay. So that is uh, the right answer to this question is D is the right answer. Yes, Aditya, John T. Kazmi, you all are right. Uh, the next one is question number two, which says in February this year, ISRO successfully conducted a flight acceptance hot test of CE-20 cryogenic engine for DASH mission. Aditya L1, X-ray polarometer uh, satellite Chandrayaan-3 Gaganyaan-1 mission. See, CE-20 is a cryogenic engine and this engine you will find in, in this uh, rocket. So the name of the rocket is LVM3 launch vehicle uh, uh, 3 or GSLV Mark 3. Both are same thing. So in this actually, this uh, is uh, actually a three stage rocket. So the first stage is solid engine. The second uh, stage is liquid and the third one is cryogenic engine. Cryogenic engine is considered as very powerful uh, called as CE20. So this was conducted for this rocket. This is uh, actually uh, GSLV Mark 3. Now, please answer it. This was actually tested for Chandrayaan 3. Uh, I hope you are aware that we have already launched Chandrayaan 1 and 2. And the third one we are going to launch very soon. For that, uh, the test has happened. Okay. So, C is the right answer to this question. Okay. okay. So, yes. Uh, Aman, uh, Aman Mishra, Aditya, you all are right. C is the right answer to this question. Okay. Uh, the next one is question number three in February this year. Which of the following country was awarded prestigious GSMA Government Leadership Award at Mobile World Congress Barcelona? Your options are Australia, USA, India, China. What is the right answer to this question? Now, tell me, this year February, which country was awarded GSMA Government Leadership Award 2023 at uh, Mobile World Congress Barcelona? Uh, since uh, uh, it is India, you must be knowing it. So C is the right answer. Yes, Aman Misha, very good. C is the right answer to this question. Okay. Yes. Yes, you all are right. C is the right answer. Uh, the next one, Aditya Mahajan, Chetan Mahajan, you all are right. Uh, the next is question number four, uh, which says, which of the following country has agreed to work with India in the areas to deep tech startup as well as forge lasting ties with ma uh, in manufacturing of semiconductor chips? I hope you are aware these are called as integrated chips, uh, which is made with the help of semiconductors. So your options are South Sudan, South Africa, South Korea, Lithuania. What is the right answer to this question? Bataye, manufacturing of semiconductor chips ke liye, with which nation India has done an agreement. Uh, you should be knowing it. Uh, what is the right answer? Uh, ye IC chip, you must have seen in every electronic device, you will find this, an IC chip integrated chip. So if you open your computer or laptop, 
in motherboard section you will find these chips and, and all right? so the right answer is d lithuania is the right answer to this question okay uh, so republic of lithuania india and lithuania have agreed to work in the area so d is the right answer to this question okay together on deep tech startup semiconductor chip and right? so d is the right answer yes uh the next uh, yes let me show you in the map as well here is india this is europe and this is lithuania yes uh, so d is the right answer to this question uh the next one is question number five name the fellowship program which was launched by united uh, union a minister of state independent charge science and technology dr jitendra singh for the indian diaspora abroad to improve the research ecosystem of india's higher education institution your options are sarthi lamp prime minister's research scholarship webhav what is the right answer to this question kya sahi jawab hai batao so uh, mr jitendra singh dr jitendra singh the minister of state independent charge science and technology has uh, uh, actually launched this fellowship program what is the name of that program called as so uh, the right answer to this question is d webhav program hai na d is the right answer webhav fellowship scheme for indian diaspora so d is the right answer yes aman mishra you are right d is the right answer hai na ab dekh sakte ho indian diaspora means indians living abroad those are called as indian diaspora hai na webhav fellowship aims at improving research ecosystem of india's higher education and all yes rakshit aditya you are right ha huh? uh, the next is question number 6 in april this year uh, hekani jakalu became the first woman mla of a 60 member nagaland assembly after winning the dash constituency this is very very important because in the history of nagaland for the first time a female mla was elected her name is hekani jakalu please remember her name as well so this is also important and from which constituency she won what is the right answer can anyone tell me so the right answer to this question is dimapur 3 is the right answer d is the right answer to this question yes mohan you are right aditya rakshit yes so dimapur actually you will find it in uh, nagaland yes so hekani jakhalu script history becomes first woman mla in nagaland so that is why it is very very important okay and what is the capital of nagaland i hope you are aware of that kohima hai na so d is the right answer to this question yes okay uh, the next one is question number 7 which says in march 2023 the indian government approved the procurement of dash httt 40 basic trainer aircraft from dash for the indian air force to meet the shortage of basic trainer aircraft of iaf matlab which which company this yahan par batana company ka name aur yahan pe banana numbers how many so this is stt 40 basic trainer aircraft so this aircraft is used in training purpose and right? training pilots and all the naya naya sikhta hai na bilda ha iske liye so what is the right answer to this question uh, so uh, the right answer actually is a and so 70 htt 40 basic trainer aircraft from hal hindustan aeronautics limited hai right? na so a is the right answer to this question yes parth is right chetan mahajan you are right a is the right answer to this question theek hai ठीक है यू मस्ट बी नोइंग इट यस प्रणव आदित्य यू ऑल आर राइट इज द राइट आंसर यस द नेक्स्ट वन इज क्वेश्चन नंबर 8 व्हिच सेज हु अमंग द फॉलोइंग हैज बीन इलेक्टेड एज द फिफ्थ प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ नाइजीरिया आफ्टर डिफीटिंग अतीकू अबूबकर इन द प्रेसिडेंशियल इलेक्शन ऑफ 2023 सो द न्यू प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ नाइजीरिया समटाइम्स इन मैच द फॉलोइंग और समथिंग लाइक दैट दे आस्क इन दीस एग्जाम्स कि दिस पर्सन बिलोंग्स टू ही इज द न्यू प्राइम मिनिस्टर और ही ही इज अ व्हाट पॉलिटिशियन actor generally is like that also okay so which actually remains in the news so the uh, the new president of nigeria is in the news and what is its name can you tell me okay the right answer is c bola tinubu is the right answer to this question yes parth is again right c is the right answer to this question okay so uh, here actually is uh, india this is nigeria this is africa continent and here you will find nigeria okay yes uh, bona tinubu wins nigeria's presidential election ha so he is actually the new president of nigeria okay uh, the next one is a question number 9 which says name the indian hindi writer who has been honored with the most coveted literary prize worldwide the pen america award for lifetime achievement in the literature on 2nd march 2023 your options are vinod kumar shukla arvind krishna sati khanna taposhi ghosal what is the right answer to this question कैसे ही जवाब है सबको लाइक बटन प्रेस कर दो एवरीवन प्लीज प्रेस द लाइक बटन एंड सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एज वेल नीचे सब्सक्राइब का बटन दिया है सबको दबा दो उसको भी नीचे यस
So in the writer who has been given this Pen American Award, this is important. So the right answer to this question is Vinod Kumar Shukla is the right answer. You're right. Aman, John T. Anshul, Aditya, Parth, you are right, is the right answer to this question. Okay. Okay. Yes. A Hindi star in global literary firmament. Yes, is the right answer. Yes. Aditya, Bohan, you are right. Uh, the next is question number 10. In which of the following states NTPC commissioned first air-cooled condenser in India that would help in water conservation? Your options are Chhattisgarh, Rajasthan, Jharkhand, Odisha. What is the right answer to this question? NTPC and the National Thermal Power Corporation has started first air cooled condenser that would help in water conservation. Pani ki barbadi reduce ho jayegi. So, pani kam use hoga. So, that has actually got opened in which state? So, the right answer is C. Jharkhand. So, C is the right answer to this question. You must be knowing it, Hana. North Karanpura super critical thermal plant in Jharkhand. Yes, you can see this is the photo North Karanpura, na? India's first uh, cooled condenser installed super thermal power plant. Anna. So, starting on 1st March and NTPC that is National Thermal Power Corporation. So, the right answer is C is the right answer. Yes, John T. Kazmi, Anshul, Aditya, you all are right. Uh, the next is question number 11. In March 2023, who among the following has been elected as the new president of Vietnam? Your options are Vo Van Thuong, Ngo Yuan Zuan Phuc, Ngo Yuan Phu Trong, Thi Yuan Rang. What is the right answer to this question? The new president of Vietnam is whom? Nay Rashtrapati Vietnam ki kon hai? What is the right answer? So the right answer actually is, uh, A is the right answer, Wo Van Thuong is the right answer to this question. Okay. So he's uh, uh, from a ruling communist party, Wo Van Thuong uh, is the new president. Where is the Vietnam? Let me show you. Here is India. It is very near to India actually. Here is actually Vietnam. Okay. So just have an idea about that. Anna. A is the right answer. Yes. Chetan Anshul Aditya, you all are right. Huh? Uh, the next one is question number 12 which says what is the theme of 7th International Dharma Dhamma Conference which is being held in Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh from 3 to 5 March 2023. Your options are Eastern Humanism for the New Era, Dharma Dhamma Tradition in Building the Post-Covid World Order, Sat Chit Anand and Nirvan, State and Social Order in Dharma Dhamma Tradition. What is the right answer to this question? Theme batana hai. 7th International Dharma Dhamma Conference. Ka. Uh, this actually recently happened in Bhopal, inaugurated by President of India. So, the right answer is actually, uh, again, uh, B is the right uh, A is the right answer to this question. Eastern Humanism for the New Era. Okay, so, A is the right answer. Just have an idea about it. Ab dekh sakte ho. President Murmu inaugurates 7th International Dharma Dhamma Conference in Bhopal. You can see it here. President, India's President. Anna, here. So, uh, the next one is question number 13, which says, which of the following Indian minister, ministries has been awarded prestigious Porter Prize 2023 at Stanford University, California? Which ministry ko mila? Ministry of Agriculture, which Indian ministry? Agriculture, Education, Panchayati Raj, Health and Family Welfare. Which ministry has got this Porter Prize from USA? Stanford University, USA. Uh, what is the right answer? So, the right answer to this question is Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. D is the right answer to this question. Uh, so, yes, D is the right answer. Just have an idea. Yes. Uh, especially COVID management and all health sector ke liye and all. So, Porter Prize has been given. So, D is the right answer. Yes. Parth, you all are right. Mohan, John T. Kazmi, you all are right. D is the right answer. Anna. This is given in the name of an economist, Michael E. Porter, known for his economic theory and strategic concepts and all. So, who received the, uh, this? I mean, who is the uh, Health Minister of India? So, Mr. Mansuk Mandavia is the Health Minister of India. Uh, the next is question number 14. In March 2023, the Bureau of Indian Standards prohibited sale of Hallmark Gold Jewelry without the dash alphanumeric Hallmark Unique Identification uh, Number. So, it is called as HUID. So, it is called as HUID. So, without it, a BIS uh, actually mark will not be given. I mean, uh, so you cannot sell the Hallmark Hallmark matlab, jo, haan, verified uh, so gold jewelry so what is uh, I mean how much digit is there in HUID Chirag uh, it depends upon the uh, I mean CMAT hai na? they will be giving some days at least one week they will be giving hai na? maybe more than that but let's wait I cannot comment here because let's wait for the admit card uh, the right answer is C six digit actually hai na? So, ye six digit ka hoga, something like that hai na? Six digit alpha numeric code which will have be unique for every jewelry articles and all. Uh, is there a good 
है ना प्योरिटी ऑफ गोल्ड बताने के लिए बी आई एस स्टैंडर्ड मार्कोट बेदे ऑन द गोल्ड ठीक है सो सी इज द राइट आंसर ये पार जॉन्टी काज में आदित्य महाजन चेतन महाजन यू वाला राइट द नेक्स्ट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन वट इज द थीम ऑफ कैच द रेन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री कैंपेन लॉन्च बाई प्रेसिडेंट द्रौपदी मुर्मू टू टर्न द कंजर्वेशन ऑफ वाटर इन टू मास कैंपेन इन द रन अप टू द मॉनसून सीजन योर ऑप्शन आर जल ही जीवन है सोर्स सस्टेनेबिलिटी फॉर ड्रिंकिंग वाटर स्वच्छ सुजल शक्ति कैच द रेन वेर इट फॉल्स वेन इट फॉल्स वट इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन क्या सही जवाब है बताइए थीम ऑफ कैश द रेन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री लॉन्च बाई द्रौपदी मुर्मू सो द राइट आंसर इज बी सोर्स सस्टेनेबिलिटी फॉर ड्रिंकिंग वाटर सो बी इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन ठीक है आप देख सकते हो प्रेसिडेंट द्रौपदी मुर्मू टू लॉन्च कैच द रेन कैंपेन ऑन मार्च फोर है ना ये ठीक है द नेक्स्ट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन विच सीज अकॉर्डिंग टू एन एस ओ नेशनल स्टैटिस्टिकल ऑफिस विच रिलीज द रिपोर्ट इन मार्च द पर कैपिटा इनकम ऑफ इंडिया हैज ग्रोन Has shown a growth of two fold, three fold, four fold, five fold since 2014-15. Those are 14, 15. Say in the last eight, nine years, uh, we have seen the per capita income growth of how much? Two fold, three fold, four fold, five fold. And so you understand National Statistical Office, uh, which is uh, used in uh, I mean this office is responsible for GDP estimation in India. Okay. So according to the NSO office, uh, actually the per capita income in India has increased by two fold, and it double ho gaya. Okay, so just have an idea about it. So D is the right answer to this question. Okay, इसको पढ़ लेना थोड़ा सा. Okay, uh, the next one देखो यहाँ लिखा होगा. Is one lakh seventy two thousand per year, है ना? Earlier it was eighty six thousand and all. Okay. Yes, uh, the right answer is A, है ना? Uh, the next one is question number seventeen, which says India ranks dash in the electoral democracy index. and dash in the liberal democracy index released by vdem report vdem report i think it comes from sweden and all hana so what is the india's rank in electoral democracy index and liberal democracy index 1 in 5 and 97 96 and 100 57 120 1097 what is the right answer to this question chetan mahajan at least 6 months you should try to cover hana from october se cover karna october november december january february march itna pad lena hana and we all have all the 6 months ka we have discussed it go to the playlist and watch uh, go to the playlist and go to uh, the cmat gk section and watch all the videos if you watch all the videos then all the current affairs from october till now will be covered to so, sara aap dekh lena uh, playlist mein jaake then all will be covered hai na so the right answer is d 108 and 97 so in uh, electoral democracy index it is 108 and liberal democracy index the rank is 97 yes चेतन रक्षित आदित्य जॉन टी पार्थ नैंसी यू आर डी इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन ओके सो डी इज द राइट आंसर हाँ ओके द नेक्स्ट वन एज क्वेश्चन नंबर एटीन इन मार्च दिस ईयर विच आर द फॉलोइंग इंडियन नेवी शिप हैज ऑन बोर्डेड फर्स्ट एडिशन ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री नेवल कमांडर्स कॉन्फ्रेंस इन अरबियन सी ऑफ गोवा आई एन एस तलवार एन एस सतपुर आई एन एस तरकाश आई एन एस विक्रांत वट इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन क्या सही जवाब है बताइए फर्स्ट एडिशन ऑफ 2023 नेवल कमांडर कॉन्फ्रेंस कहां पे कौन से शिप पर हुआ सो द फोटो ऑफ दैट शिप इज हेयर ठीक है आप देख सकते हैं पे प्लेन भी लगी हुई है ना ऑन दैट शिप सो द राइट आंसर इज एक्चुअली आई एन एस विक्रांत सो डी इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन है ना एंड आई एन एस विक्रांत इज फेमस बिकॉज इट इज फर्स्ट इंडिजिनस एयरक्राफ्ट कैरियर मेड इन इंडिया एयरक्राफ्ट कैरियर एंड मेड बाई विच कंपनी प्लीज बी अवेयर ऑफ दैट कोचिन शिप यार्ड लिमिटेड so that is what you should be knowing it hena so the right answer is d yes john t koshik chetan you all are right uh, the next is question number 19 for which of the following indian states union minister uh, mr ashwini vaishnav has launched a unique cover of department of post go green go organic arunachal sikkim odisha madhya pradesh so department of post ne ye launch kiya hai ye go green go organic now apply some logic this is uh, this is talking about organic farming so which is the first organic state in india can you tell me first organic state in india yes bavanla please go and watch all uh, go to the playlist and watch all the videos in playlist there is a separate playlist for cmat gk theek hai usme sara video dekh lena if you watch all the videos that would be beneficial of course ha uh, cover uh, would be enough ha huh? yes the right answer is the first uh, actually organic state is sikkim so for that actually it was launched ashwini vaishnav releases Go green, go organic. Cover of world's first organic state, Sikkim. Yes, you can see it. Is it? 
so it has been tweeted by him yes okay yes uh, the right answer is b is the right answer chetan mohan rakshit sandesh you are right uh, okay before moving on guys these are our cat 2022 toppers you can see it and uh, we are running a cat 2023 comprehensive program 300 plus engaging video 75 plus mock test 135 plus live session etc would be there and if you want a scholarship on this course we are providing a 90 percent up to scholarship on 15th april at 7 pm the test will be organized if you qualify it you will get up to 90 percent of scholarship so the link is given in the description from where you can register okay and on 8th april at 7 pm i will be having serenivas sir he will be taking a session on roadmap to 99 percentile in cat 2023 so the link is given in the description from where you can actually register okay ha huh, one more thing download our app go to cat section and there you will find a lot of daily section wise quiz attempt those quiz that would be very beneficial for you okay okay uh, then uh, we'll be running 500 most expected cat question from april 6 so if you want to follow those videos also please subscribe to the channel niche subscribe ko button diya hai please subscribe to it so whenever we'll be putting a video you will get the notification out of it okay let's move on to the next one question 20 in march this year the ministry of road transport and highway has installed dash meter long a uh, dash meter long bamboo crash barrier bahubali jo gate is diwar dekh rahe ye jo bana hua hai on the vani varora highway in maharashtra to ye matlab bamboo se bana hua hai theek hai so uski length kya thi 100 meter 200 750 500 meter what is the right answer to this question kya sahi jawab hai bataiye so the right answer actually is a 200 meter ka length hai iska theek hai na 200 meter length bamboo crash barrier on the vani varora highway in maharashtra so b is, uh, a is the right answer to this question yes janvi puri you are right hai na okay uh, the next is question number 21 in March this year which of the following state government unveiled the iconic Dakota DC-3 aircraft for public viewing ये बहुत पुराना actually plane है ठीक है तो कौन से state ने इसको public viewing के लिए viewing के लिए रखा लेकिन लोग आएं देखें इसको it's a very old aircraft है ना West Bengal Odisha Andhra Pradesh UP what is the right answer to this question कैसी जवाब है Dakota this is the plane है ना an old plane so the right answer is actually B uh, Odisha is the right answer to this question. So uh, just have an idea. Anna. The Odisha Chief Minister, Mr. Naveen Patnaik, has unveiled the iconic Dakota aircraft Anna. of legendary Biju Patnaik Air, uh, uh, for public going and all. So Bhubaneswar Airport, so people can go and see it and all. This is for public viewing purpose. Anna. Just look at it. Okay. Uh, the next one, yes, B was the right answer. The next is question number 22, which says, who among the following has won 2022 BBC Indian Sports Women of the Year Award? Very important for the second time. Dosi baar jeeta hai. BBC Indian Sports Women of the Year Award. They could apply the logic we are talking about sports women. So Neera Chopra cannot be the answer. At least eliminate option A. Okay. Itna to logic lagai sab to. Okay. So you are left with option B, C and D and choose one of them. So what is the right answer? Yes, uh, Parth, right? D is the right answer to this question. Meera Bhai Chanu, Mohan, uh, Kishan Lal, you all are right. And D is the right answer. She is the weightlifter. And she actually got, uh, I hope you are aware, she got silver medal in Tokyo Olympics. And she became very famous. Fourth, fourth athlete to win award twice in a row. Lagatar do last year also in 2021. And in 2022, she won it. Anna. So D is the right answer to this question. Meera Bhai Chanu wins BBC Indian Sports Women of the Year Award for second year running. So you can see this is a photo. Anna. So, D is the right answer. Yes. Kaushik, Jaunti, Kazmi, Chenmai, Tiwari, you all are right. Uh, the next is question number 23. In March 2023, who among the following has been elected as the Chief Minister of Meghalaya? T. R. Zeliang, Temjeng, Imna Along, Yanthong, uh, Yanthongo, Paton, Conrad K. Sangma. What is the right answer to this question? So, the elections happened actually in Meghalaya, Tripura, Nagaland and all. So, the Meghalaya election happened. Who has been uh, appointed or elected as the Chief Minister of Meghalaya? So, actually, he was the chief minister and he has been re-elected. So, D is the right answer to this question. Yes. Abdeksakto, Mr. Conrad Sangma from National People's Party. And he is the president of National People's Party. So, D is the right answer. Okay. Yes, Chetan, Parth, Rakshit, Aditya, Mahajan, you all are right. D is the right answer. Anna. Yes, Anushka, Avani, you all are right. Uh, the next is question number 24, which says, which of the following Indian airports has ranked among the cleanest airport in Asia Pacific? As per Airport Council International, your options are Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj International Airport, 
लोकप्रिय गोपीनाथ बदोली इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट आईजीआई एयरपोर्ट चेन्नई इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट क्लीनेस्ट एयरपोर्ट का टैग किसको दिया गया है एयरपोर्ट काउंसिल इंटरनेशनल के द्वारा वट इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन क्या सही जवाब है बताइए सो द राइट आंसर इज एक्चुअली इंदिरा गांधी इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट विच एक्चुअली यू विल फाइंड इट इन डेली वेरी फेमस so c is the right answer yes parth sandesh anushka jain you all are right answer this is the c is the right answer to this question okay yes chetan rohit avnesh yes uh, the next one is question number 25 name the personality who has been nominated as the first indian american to be the judge of south asian district judge for southern district of new york your options are reena ray jalak srivastav arun goel arun subramanyam this is also very very important whenever any indian origin person is getting an important position at world level it becomes very important first indian american to be the judge of south asian district judge of new york kya sahi jawab bataiye what is the right answer yes uh, the right answer is d arun subramanyam is the right answer yes aditya nidhi rakshit rohit you are right hana d is the right answer to this question theek hai yes john t virendra you are right hana फर्स्ट इन अमेरिकन न्यूयॉर्क डिस्ट्रिक्ट कोर्ट जज है ना ये पता होना चाहिए दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट है ना यस यस शिल पास आओ यू ऑल आर राइट द नेक्स्ट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर 26 हु मेक द फॉलोइंग हैज बीन स्वॉन इन एज द न्यू चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ त्रिपुरा फॉर द सेकंड कंसेक्यूटिव टर्म सो द इलेक्शंस हैपन इन त्रिपुरा एज़ वेल एंड ही वाज बिफोर इलेक्शन ही वाज द चीफ मिनिस्टर जस्ट बिफोर इलेक्शन एंड ही एक्चुअली वन इट अगेन सो व्हाट इज द राइट आंसर सबको लाइक बटन प्रेस करते जाओ एवरीवन प्लीज प्रेस द लाइक बटन नीचे सब्सक्राइब कर दो चैनल को सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल तो द न्यू चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ त्रिपुरा इज अगेन इज डॉक्टर मनिक साहा सो डी इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन ठीक है सो जस्ट हैव एन आईडिया अबाउट इट है ना सो इलेक्ट मनिक साहा सेट टू बिकम द त्रिपुरा चीफ मिनिस्टर अगेन यस सो डी इज द राइट आंसर यस यस पात रोहित यस यू आर राइट डी इज द राइट आंसर द नेक्स्ट वन इज क्वेश्चन नंबर 27 व्हिच सेज इन मार्च 2023 इसरो has successfully carried out an extremely challenging controlled re-entry experiment of decommissioned orbiting dash satellite koi satellite tha wo purana ho gaya tha usko wapas le aayega theek hai although it was not landed properly lekin wapas earth par ek tarah se le aaya gaya so what was that gsat 15 mega topics 1 insat 4b kalpana 1 decommissioned uh, satellite means which has actually become not useful not being used hai na aisa satellite jisko use nahi kiya ja raha hai So what is the right answer to this question? Uh, the right answer is actually Megha Tropics. So B is the right answer to this question, Anna. Okay. So the, it was actually put it in deep Pacific Ocean within the expected latitude and longitude, Anna. Was uh, and it was launched in 2011. But the asteroid is bad. It has been left in space. Mein chhod diye it has been brought back, Anna. So at least uh, the controlled re-entry experiments, uh, decommissioned uh, Megha Tropics, was carried out successfully on 7th March. It was re-entry. was done and would be, would have been disintegrated over pacific ocean to pacific ocean mein uh, gira diya gaya usko ek tarah se theek hai like that so the next one is question number 28 which says in march 2023 satish kaushik passed away at 66 was a veteran what cinematographer musician actor dancer this is also very very important and he became very famous to aapko pata hona chahiye satish kaushik kaushik uh, he died recently i mean uh, in march and he was a very famous actor ha na so c is the right answer to this question he died he died due to cardiac arrest heart attack and all that so just have an idea about that theek hai yes rohit uh, kishan lal you are right uh, the next is question number 29 uh, which says in march 2023 anthony albanese arrived in ahmedabad gujarat and will hold discussion uh, of areas of cooperation etc and all comprehensive strategic partnership so mr anthony albanese he arrived in india he is a prime minister of which country australia is to on gaya foreign minister of australia home secretary of uk what is the right answer to this question kya sahi jawab hai bataiye so in the first week i think around first or second week of march mr anthony albanese arrived in india and he is actually the prime minister of australia so a is the right answer to this question theek hai he arrived in gujarat as well hai na so extraordinary effort so he is mr anthony albanese hai na so a is the right answer to this question yes rakshit adarsh parth aditya uh the next is question number 30 name the indian air force officer who became the first woman officer in the history of indian air force to be selected for front line combat unit command in the western sector very 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 important star market char panch bar star laga li jisko punita arora shaliza dhami padma bandopadhyay madhuri kanitkar 
वॉट इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन क्या सही जवाब है फर्स्ट वुमेन ऑफिसर है टू बी सिलेक्टेड इन द फ्रंट लाइन कॉम्बैक्ट यूनिट इन द वेस्टर्न सेक्टर सो द राइट आंसर इज शालिजा धामी so b is the right answer to this question group captain shaliza dhami she is from ludhiana uh, you can see this is the photo anna so b is the right answer just have an idea okay yes parth you all are right anna b is the right answer uh, the next is question number 31 which says in march ram chandra podel defeated subhash chandra nembang to become the president of dash president of dash dash matlab kitna bhi number ke which number and this uh, this dash ka matlab hai country batana hai सिंगापुर नेपाल सूदान इंडोनेशिया वॉट इज द राइट आंसर क्या सही जवाब है बताइए रामचंद्र पौदेल वाई इज इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज ही इज एक्चुअली द प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ अवर नेबरिंग कंट्री है ना तो पड़ोसी के बारे में तो पता होना चाहिए ना सो दिस इज थर्ड ही बिकेम द थर्ड प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ नेपाल सो ठीक है सो द राइट आंसर इज बी इज द राइट आंसर पार्थ मोहन आदर्श यू आर बी इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन ठीक है ठीक है मिस्टर रामचंद्र पॉडेल थर्ड प्रेसिडेंट है ना ही टुक द चार्ज ऑन थर्टी मार्च सो हार्डली फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी डेज बैक यू कैन सी सो द न्यू प्रेसिडेंट यू मस्ट बी नोइंग इट बिफोर हिम एक्चुअली द प्रेसिडेंट वाज विद्या देवी भंडारी ठीक है सो हर टेन यूर एंडेड एंड द न्यू वन एज मिस्टर रामचंद्र पौडेल आई डोंट नो द प्रोनाउंसिएशन सो आई थिंक इट्स पौडेल पर सो ही इज द नेपाल प्रेजिडेंट न्यू नेपाल प्रेजिडेंट यू मस्ट बी नोइंग इट है ना इज द राइट आंसर यस ये कौशिक चिन्मय अनुष्का यू ऑल राइट Uh, the next is question number 32 in march 2023 which of the following indian cities launched a new initiative called beggar free city to not allow begging in public places new delhi nagpur raipur mumbai beggar free city kaun sa ban gaya what is the right answer to this question okay the right answer is b nagpur is the right answer to this question beggar free city has been uh, started hai na so So B is the right answer. Yes, Bar Chetan, you all are right. The next is question thirty-three with the reference of March twenty twenty-three news. Which of the following railway zone achieved hundred percent electrification of its broad gauge of three thousand eight hundred twenty-five kilometer in February twenty twenty-three? Your options are Northern Railway, North Central Railway, North Eastern Railway, Central Railway. What is the right answer to this question? Yes, see the answer. Yes, hundred percent electrification. कौन से रेलवे जोन में हो गया ब्रॉड गेज में ब्रॉड गेज जो दी तरह का होता है ना नैरो गेज मीटर गेज एंड ब्रॉड गेज जो नॉर्मल ट्रेन जब पूरे चलती है हर जगह वो ब्रॉड गेज भी चलती है ना सो द राइट आंसर इज सेंट्रल रेलवे सो डी इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन है ना रेलवे अचीव हंड्रेड परसेंट इलेक्ट्रिफिकेशन ऑफ इंटायर ब्रॉड गेज नेटवर्क पी एम कॉल सिट आउट स्टैंडिंग है ना सो डी इज द राइट आंसर ओके द नेक्स्ट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी फोर इन मार्च ट्वेंटी पी एम मोदी डेडिकेटेड बैंगलुरु मैसूरु एक्सप्रेस वे इन कर्नाटक टू द नेशन दिस एक्सप्रेस वे इज हाउ मेनी हाउ मच किलोमीटर लॉन्ग हंड्रेड एटीन टू फिफ्टी हंड्रेड फिफ्टी किलोमीटर क्या लेंथ है हाईवे की वॉट इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन एनी वन सो द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज ए हंड्रेड एटीन किलोमीटर एक सौ अठारह किलोमीटर लंबा हाईवे इट विल बी कनेक्टिंग बैंगलोर टू मैसूरु इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन ठीक है दस लेन का बाप रे सो इट्स हैविंग टेन लेन गॉड हंड्रेड एटीन किलोमीटर यस इज द राइट आंसर यस ओके द नेक्स्ट इज मिशेल युआ वाज अवार्डेड बेस्ट फीमेल एक्टर अवार्ड इन नाइनटी फिफ्थ अकेडमी अवार्ड और यू कैन से ऑस्कर अवार्ड फॉर हर परफॉर्मेंस इन विच फिल्म द वे ऑफ वाटर एंड इरिश गुड बाय द वेल एवरीथिंग एवरीवेयर ऑल एट वंस सो मिशेल युआ वॉज अवार्डेड बेस्ट फीमेल एक्टर और बेस्ट एक्ट्रेस इन नाइनटी ऑस्कर अवार्ड For her performance in which film? Which si film? Hai? This is important. Oscars are very, very important. So, what is the right answer? Uh, the right answer is everything, everywhere, all at once. In fact, this film has won Best Film Award as well, and in Oscar. So, D is the right answer to this question. Okay. Yes. Path Mohan, Adarsh, Chetan, Kishan, you all are right. Uh, the next is who among the following has won Best Male Actor Award uh, for performing in this uh, film called as The Veil? बेस्ट एक्टर अवार्ड किसको मिला है फिलिप बर्क आर्नोल्ड वॉस्लो ब्रेंडन फ्रेजर दैरन और वॉट इज द राइट आंसर सबको लाइक बटन प्रेस करते जो एवरी वन प्लीज प्रेस द लाइक बटन गाइस और नीचे सब्सक्राइब का बटन दिया है प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू दैट एज वेल सो द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन एक्चुअली इज ब्रेंडन फ्रेजर सो सी इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन ठीक है बेस्ट मेल एक्टर अवार्ड है ना नाइन फिफ्थ ऑस्कर तो सी यस आदर्श यू आर राइट अनुष्का जैन आदित्य यू आर राइट 
the next is question number 37 which are the following documentary won 95th academy awards uh, short documentary in a short film documentary mein. So actually it became famous because it is from India. answer Yes, many people have answered Rakshid, uh, Rakshid Mohan, Jordi, Rohit, you all were right. So best short documentary award, The Elephant Whisperer. Hai na? So D is the right answer. And in best original song category, RRR Films Natu Natu has won best original song award. Hai na? So these two are actually from India and that is why you must be knowing it. Star Market, both of them. Hai na? Yes. Uh, the next one, uh, let me show you about the most other uh, important thing. And uh, best actress, we have discussed best, uh, best actor, uh, we have discussed best director, Daniel Kwan and Daniel Shinert for everything, everywhere, all at once. Again, for the same film. And uh, yeah, three, one, two, three. And, uh, then uh, best film, agar puchhenge. so best film actually has been given to the same film. Uh, this film actually everything, everywhere, all at once has won the best film award as well. Okay, or best picture about so just have an idea about those things and uh, because maybe they can be asked in exam a uh, dope indians ko mila hai. so one is rrr films natu natu song and elephant vesperer these two actually won uh, nah. and natu natu's music composer is mr m m kiravani and why he was in the news because he got padam shri award also this year uh, nah. this year in 2023 and one more thing you should be knowing that natu natu has won golden globes award also this is also an award, Golden Globes Award, uh, given from USA. Uh, it's an uh, international level cinema award. Okay. Uh, again, in the same category, best original song category. Okay. So, Natu Natu has been very much in the news and that is why you should be knowing it. So, this is all about today's class. Please subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Telegram and download the Baiju's exam prep app. So, thank you everyone. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.